you dare head back into the Devil's Den? I'm author and researcher Mike Luoma, heading back to a location you can only reach during our frigid Vermont winters, when the ice on Long Pond freezes so you can walk right up to the Donahue Sea Caves. Access is off North Avenue in Burlington, across from the old high school, through Arthur Park. They've cleared several circles for skating on the ice of Long Pond. It's kind of neat to watch the skaters as you make your way to the sea caves. The Devil's Den, the Sea Caves. This was an indigenous space long ago. Ancient Abnaki grew crops in the Burlington Intervale, documented by archaeological digs not far from here. Abnaki lived all along the Winooski River in the Intervale. This may not have been just a shelter, but a sacred space. Colonizers and settlers would often label something a devil's this or that, if it had been a holy place to local indigenous folks. As for Sea Cave, at the end of the last Ice Age, most of Burlington was beneath the Champlain Sea. They once thought the tides and seawater had carved out this cave, but now believe the end of that sea and the draining of the massive contemporary Winooski River at that time, down through its delta, probably hollowed out this space, which was then opened up and exposed by the scraping, retreating ice sheets. The colors here are all natural, the vibrant, magnesium-rich local dolo stone.
The textures in the stone and the ceiling and walls are the result of erosion, mostly. But I also believe we see traces of indigenous work in the walls as well. The work I think is clearest is towards the back, inaccessible right now. All I could do is look towards the space since it wasn't frozen over. It froze last year, and we've had a bunch of sub-zero nights lately. I've been hoping to find a frozen floor. Not yet. Not that I'm hoping for more frigid cold weather, but if it comes, I'll be coming back here. Donahue Sea Caves. I'm Mike Luoma. Thank you for joining me on this trip back into the Devil's Death.